The Parasite Drag Tool has a variety of different options when it comes to equation selection for either laminar or turbulent flow, or form factor for individual bodies. So let's start by looking at our laminar and turbulent equations, and you'll notice that we only have the Blasius option for laminar flow. But for turbulent, we have a variety of different turbulent skin friction coefficient equations. So by default, we've got a power law Blasius, but in your case, you may need a Prandtl at a medium Reynolds number or high Reynolds number. You might want to use compressible flow or even some heat transfer. So you have lots and lots of options when it comes to the turbulent contribution for each individual body. Over here on the right side, you'll see that we have form factor equations and we're allowed a choice of one per geometry. Now for a pod, which is more of a body type component, We've got a variety of different options, including manual. If you happen to know what the form factor value is, you can just type it in. And you can choose things like a streamlined body or a variety of different formulations for these. And remember that the skin friction coefficient equations, the form factor equations, all of these are again documented on the wiki page, which you can find linked here. They're all plotted, they're explained, the equations are written out. It's an excellent resource. So for example, on these wing-mounted pods that we have down here as our payload, we might actually want something like a wing-mounted nacelle. That's going to have a different form factor than something like a streamlined body for a fuselage. Similarly, for the wing, instead of choosing a Jenkinson wing by default, maybe we know that this is a 6-series airfoil, and we want to use that equation. The tails, maybe we want a Jenkinson tail. So we can pick a variety of different form factors, but note that those equations are specific, whether it's a body type component or a wing type component, and you can't mix and match between uh, component types. If we grab our scroll bar and move to the right, you'll see the values that you have for percent laminar flow and interference factor. Now, you notice that if you hover over these headers, a little hint or a context will jump up and say that in this case, Values should be input from 0 to 100 for your percent laminar flow. So on the wing, instead of 0.2 as a fraction of laminar flow, we put in 20 for 20%. 20 on the interference factor, you can find this kind of information from, say, Raymer or other aircraft design manuals. And those will give you specific guidelines and best practices for interference factor for different kinds of components. So for example, Going back to our payload demonstration of these wing mounted pods, the interference factor for those being so close to the underside of the wing, it's going to be about 1.5. If they were a little bit farther away, maybe closer to like 1.2. So um, I highly recommend that you go and look at some of the references on that documentation page that will point you to different books and help you identify what an appropriate interference factor is for your various components. So that's a bit of an overview of the equation options and modifications that you can put into your Parasite Drag Buildup in OpenVSP. Again, remember that the documentation can be found on the wiki page, and there's a, a full explanation to all of the equations, the variables, the buildup within that. You have the option of modifying some of these. And if you find that your Parasite Drag Buildup isn't quite capturing everything, don't you know? be discouraged, just try some different equations, different form factors, find what might work best for you. And if it's something where you're just missing some fixed percent or some fixed value, don't be afraid to add excrescence.